Yeah, I'm going to start with calendar questions because we're talking about calendar. Right. So when you have it scheduled to book appointments, can you have it choose who to book with based on a rotation? Oh, yes, I believe so. That's what I, I'm struggling right now because I always lose it and then I find it by accident. Oh, you know why I can't do it? Now I know why. It's because I'm the only calendar booked up here. So let me let me go to one that Lisa and I have because we do have a group calendar. And Lisa and I have both connected it. And you could see, let's create a new new booker. Now I know why I was struggling there. All right. And let's add Lisa. Okay. Or let's add one of my other calendars. Now that's what I was struggling with. I can choose whether it's going to be a random, meaning where it does like a round robin, uh, I can't pretend that I know the exact rules of how they choose which is which, you know, uh, but I believe it's a round robin, but don't hold my, don't hold me to, don't hold my feet to that fire, but it will check the availability of both of these calendars and assign to one of them, you know, so if one of them is available, it'll show available. Obviously they're both going to get it. If they're both available, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but you can have multiple people getting appointments out of one calendar. A team is where we can, they both have to be available. Lisa and I do use this. So what that means is it's going to check to make sure Lisa has the open spot before it makes it available. And I have an open spot before it's available. Okay. And then a group session is great if you're going to be doing something like, like a, 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 a webinar or, or whatever, where you may say, I want to have this link. People can book and you can have different time slots and allow say 10 people 10 guests to book that appointment so you can allow more than one person with this setting into one appointment and that's really great if somebody was doing classes or if somebody was doing sessions where you know they want to limit the number of people in those sessions okay okay we've got another question are there options for meeting longer than three hours. Great question. I've never met for anything longer than that. So I'm going to go ahead and say that if that's what you saw as the max, that is the max. But I am pretty sure I've heard in other trainings that I've attended, like you guys, where they are extending that. But I don't want to speak for the team, but I, my memory tells me that they are working on opening that up more. Okay, Ari, the calendar, can you specify multiple available time frames per day? Say nine to 12, take a break, then three to five. Absolutely. Marcelo, this is how we do it. So over here on the right where we get to select our business hours, there's another plus sign. So let's say today, Monday, let me edit this. Let's do this nine to 12, like you said. Actually, I'm gonna get out of my calendar. We're not messing with our stuff. So let me go back. And we are going to change this to 9 to 12, right? 12 p.m. looks good. And then we're going to add another one. And then we can do 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Make sure you save it. And now we have exactly what you put, 9 to 12 with a two-hour lunch break and then 2 to 5. 